guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, here are my bras and underwear. I have a separate bra drawer and then a separate underwear slash bikinis and shorts drawer, which is a complete mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I go through um, this and how I organize my bra and panty drawers um, to look like, like a Victoria's Secret drawer. Let's just get started. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 50,000 subscribers and I'm going to be doing a three winner giveaway which might include some bras and panties as well. Um, so yeah, why don't we just get started without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm actually going to take this drawer to the side, that's really heavy. And I'm gonna bring this guy right to the middle. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and actually pull out everything in my bras and panty drawer. This is only like a portion of my bras and I know it's excessive, like it's too much. It really is, I know that. So from front to back, it's Roy G. Bibb. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And then from the very back is your neutral colors like gray, black, nude, white. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and actually um, file it away in that color order. The closest thing I have in my bra drawer currently is this mauve color body by Victoria Demi. So at Victoria's Secret, you'll always clasp um, the back strap. Now depending on the style, you can either have it wire facing up or it would be um, wire facing down towards the box. So you probably have seen a couple of Victoria's Secret bras look like this and like all tucked away like that. Um, but sometimes you'll open it and they'll be sideways with the wires facing up like that or they'll be kind of filed backwards like this. For me personally, I like wires facing up because it tucks away all the straps. I'm just going to go ahead and start filing it. Now let's go into our beige color bras. Now, if you have a lot and you overstuff, things like this tend to happen where you get creases in your bra and they just kind of fold over like this. So that's because I have too many and I stuffed it. So that's another thing, just make sure you don't stuff your bras. organize all my bras I'm gonna push it off to the side and then for my um, kind of unlined bras so that's these ones here that don't have anything actually let's go let's put it in the back because I don't really wear my unlined a ton measuring tapes go there. Okay, so next, let's talk about bralettes. Um, I'm gonna consider these guys bralettes here. These are my favorite. These are the true body, um, just true body bras. This is a high neck bralette I got a while back from Victoria's Secret. You just wanna fold them in three, so like one, to like in a third and then I like to just fold and fold. With this style bralette where it's like a racer back triangle, I always kind of fold it in half, turn to the side and then fold it like that and just make it a square. If I have to go one more, I'll just fold it inward like that and then I'll put it off to the side. But I stack them up by how often I wear them. So this one I, I wear all the time. This is the True Body Cotton one. I wear this literally all the time. Fold in half, tuck the straps into the cup, and then I'll either fold it this way or I'll just kind of make it as small and compact as possible. So that is everything. Wow. 
voila! I have a couple of different styles in this stack of panties here. I will just mention, if you currently work at Victoria's Secret and standards have changed, please don't take this offensively. It's just what I remember. Um, so there were two types of ways to do thongs. Um, fold it in half like this. And then in this section where it opens up, you're gonna slip your hand through, open up your index finger and thumb, or middle finger, take the end, weave it through, pull your hands through, do the same, and weave it through. And then you have a perfectly folded panty. Here you have a seamless thong, so again, you can turn it around to the back. You don't always have to weave it through, you can just fold it backwards, and then go corner, and then corner to corner. Audio jungle. We have two different types of shorts. So one way that some people have done it is they've taken each corner and folded it into threes and then folded upward. And that's been one kind of fold. Um, I've seen other associates fold the middle section, just the middle, fold in, fold in, and that's how they file it away. I've seen that before. My personal favorite is just folding the panty in half, folding it again, and then this part automatically kind of dangles, so then I just bring it and I fold it up. That's personally my favorite because it's the same size as all of my thongs, so I can just stack it up like this and kind of have them all standing like so. That just fits perfectly with all of these guys. You see how with the hipster, you almost imagine like a line going across and you want to fold back to the end of the, um, at the top and then you'll cut her into three. So you'll go one to the middle and then one to the end like that. And, and at Victoria's Secret, they do this style all the time. But when we look at this stack, it's so much bigger compared to this here. For me, what I like to do is I like to fold these first, um, fold the wings first and bring them into the middle. It's kind of hard to show, but I will literally take it from the top, bring, bring the top section down, take this and fold it inside of the top of the panty. So you're just gonna tuck that in and fold it like so. It makes it somewhat smaller. Now with seamless underwear, it's always really hard. Personally, I like, I like this style the best. It is really big next to this um, folded panty section. Like I showed you guys is I like to fold it into thirds first. And then I will literally just roll this banded section and tuck the middle into the top of the band like that. You can either stack them upwards like this so that you can see all of them together. This is a mess right here. Like all of this is a crazy mess. So I'm actually gonna pull all of these guys out. So at Victoria's Secret, you'll normally see like dividers going this way, um, but let's just stack them up like this for now. Okay, so this is how you fold your bras and panties like a Victoria's Secret employee. This is also how I store um, all of my everyday shorts, tank tops, bras, panties, all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe down below. Um, like I said, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I would love for you guys to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, share it with your family members um, if you found this video helpful. But with that, I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!